Hey everyone, so we have the amazing Sarah Yip here who we just spotlighted on our site. Make sure you check it out. But we're going to take this time, this short little video to ask her a few bonus questions. Sarah, thanks for joining and thanks for doing this. Hi Larry, thanks for having me. Hi everyone. All right, <laughs> so I'm gonna um, ask you a series of questions in a rapid fire format. Uh, and we're gonna try to keep this video short, but if I feel like I want some more details, I'm gonna hit the brakes and make you elaborate. You good with that? Sounds good. All right, cool. First question, easy, kind of. Five word sentence, what do you do? Five word sentence. I implement and optimize NetSuite. There's, sorry, there's a lot of syllables in that, so I'm just going to, I, I, don't, I can't for some reason count right now, so I'll just trust you, so good. <laughs> um, what ultimately made you join Morgan Franklin Consulting? Well, I wanted to work in a company that had a smaller, tight-knit team. Um, I wanted to work on fewer projects at one time where I was able to give my focus to more of my customers and to dive deeper into each of the projects I was on. So I think I got that at Morgan Franklin. All right, cool. Um, NetSuite was, if NetSuite was a music genre, what would it be? So kind of random, but I was thinking it would be like a pop country kind of genre and the reason okay. is because i feel like country to me is a, uh, a genre that tells a good story so it has a good beginning middle and end okay. and then for netsuite netsuite's an end-to-end -end solution and i really feel like um, netsuite tells a good story so it's like country <laughs> okay i like that i like that i've never heard of pop country but I'll, I'll, I'll give it a shot um complete the sentence sarah yip will always be blank Sarah Yip will always be learning, singing, and trying new things. I was looking for one word, but I'll take three. <laughs> um, learning, learning, singing, and what was? Trying, trying new, new things. things. Yep. Okay, okay. Um, what was your favorite book when you were a kid, and what is your favorite book now? When I was a kid, my favorite book was Aesop's Fables, and the most recent favorite book that I have now is a book called When Breath Becomes Air by Paul Kalanithi. Uh, it's a great novel kind of a, a mm -hmm. story about a neurosurgeon and like his story of, you know, helping people with neuro cancer and then getting it himself and kind of experiencing the emotions that come with that. So it's a really great okay. book. would highly recommend it. Okay. I'll, I'll be sure to pick it up. Uh, maybe it'll be a good summer read. Um, <laughs> If you're, if you're going to start your own company and if you can only use one application like PowerPoint, Excel, uh, Photoshop, uh, what program would you use? I would use Excel uh, when my company first starts when it's small, but okay. kind of obvious bias here, but I would move it into ah. NetSuite um, when it grows. Okay. So I would switch up to NetSuite uh, when my company gets big. <laughs> okay, I, I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Um, speaking of NetSuite, um, if you were, a, or if your NetSuite, if the NetSuite team was a pop, pop culture team or group, uh, what team would they be? I would say that they are like the Avengers. We have really great teamwork. We have a lot of members, um, all with our own individual strengths and our own specialties, but we can come together and really help each other out when, you know, somebody is uh, not quite as strong in a particular area. So I feel like we really come together and we're really, really great team that way that we can support one another. Okay, um, who would, bonus question, who would be Iron Man? I'll be Iron Man. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, cool. All right. Um, which leaders have you learned from? Uh, within Morgan Franklin, I would say the leaders I've learned from would be Kendall Bryant and Sang Moore. They're both very um, strong uh, people that I've worked with that I've learned a lot from and will continue to learn from within the company. And um, in general, one of my bigger inspirations as a leader is my mother. She used to be a uh, consultant in her past life. So uh, I've learned a lot of the skills from her and um, that's where I got to where I am today. Big shout out to mom, love that, love that. Um, so I know music is a big part of your life, uh, but who is your favorite singer and which songs of theirs are, are your favorite? 
My favorite singer is Christina Aguilera. Um, she's one of my bigger inspirations from when I was younger, when I first started singing. She has a very powerful voice um, and it's very similar style to what I try to aspire to be. And my favorite song from her is Fighter. It's like a um, anthem of coming over adversity. So I think that's um, something that I, I really try to listen to and helps pump me up sometimes. <laughs> Awesome. I'm actually Team Brittany, but we'll take this argument offline. Um, <laughs> that's, that's for another time. <laughs> um, okay, so what is the most commonly used closed um, in your emails? I use Cheers. Uh, I think it's like friendly and it's light, but um, it's not in too informal. So, Cheers. Uh, cheers, comma, cheers, exclamation point. Cheers, comma, <laughs> exclamation point is a little bit too much. On a day-to-day. -day. <laughs> so you keep it so you keep it subtle, so it's more like a cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Okay. Okay, I like that. I like that. And then um the last is not really a question, but it's more of a call out. Uh shout out two people. Can I do three? Yes, three is good. Okay. Uh let's do Nicole Williams, Lane Darwin, and Michael Strom. Awesome. Cool, great people. Uh, thank you, Sarah, for letting us spotlight you. That's, that's pretty much it. Um, if you want to read more about Sarah's extensive background, make sure you visit morganfreckon.com slash spotlight. Thanks again, Sarah. Thanks, Larry. Bye.